Microsoft are trying their best to get you to move your files into the cloud. And they're really using some underhanded tactics to get you to do this without you even realizing. Now, this is something that quite a lot of my customers have ended up doing. They've ended up moving all their personal files, photos, video, desktop items, and music to the cloud at a click of a button and not understood what they've done. I'm going to show you what you need to do to stop you from doing the same. Many of us don't want to move our files to the cloud for many reasons, including that you don't feel comfortable with another company or person having private information. It could be that you simply don't want to pay for cloud storage, or it could be that you really don't understand it and you'd rather not participate in cloud storage. Whatever your reasons for not wanting to put your files in the cloud, this guide is going to help you stop you unknowingly putting your files into the cloud. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. It might seem a good thing to put your files into the cloud. After all, everybody seems to be doing it nowadays. But the main drawback is that you could potentially lose access to your files. If, for instance, you get locked out of your account, as we've seen recently, Microsoft have been really totally unhelpful to customers that have been locked out. And many customers have ended up losing years and years worth of files, pictures, emails, etc. Now, I always say if you've got important files, photographs, music and videos, then please make sure that you've got a backup copy stored elsewhere. Because if the worst happens and you lose access to them, whether they're on the cloud or not, then you could potentially lose them for good. Now, we all know Microsoft have been trying their hardest to get us to move our files to OneDrive. And recently, they've gone a step further. Now, you might have noticed when opening up certain folders, like your documents, your pictures, your desktop, your music, and your videos folder, at the top of the screen, there is this misleading icon that appeared in the file path, which says, Start Backup. You might be thinking that, yes, let's back up my files. I'm always being told to back up my files, and this seems really easy. I just click Start Backup, but what you're not realizing is when you click on Start Backup, you're actually moving the contents of that folder from your PC to OneDrive, i.e. the cloud. Now, if you want to get rid of this notification, if for instance, you've got somebody who you think might well accidentally click on it or click on in it, click on this, not knowing what it's going to do, then you really do want to get rid of it. So what do you do to get rid of this start backup? Well, all you do is let's just go into, say, the desktop folder. So let's just open. I'll, I'll just go back to the beginning. Let's click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, or you can click on any yellow folder. And then you'll see down the left hand side, you've got these folders here, desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, music and videos. Now, if you click on desktop, first of all, and then move your mouse over start backup, but don't click on anything just yet. Now, once you've moved your mouse over it, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side the mouse, not the left. It's important that you do click on the right mouse button because if you click the left, it'll automatically start moving your files to the cloud. So click on the right mouse button. You'll then get this menu option come up and you'll see there you've got this option here, turn off reminder, left click on turn off reminder. And there after a few seconds, you'll see that will disappear. Now you need to do this for the other folders too. Now you'll probably notice that downloads, it hasn't got anything there. It hasn't got the start backup. So just ignore that if it hasn't got it, it probably hasn't. Click on documents and you'll need to do the same for there. Right click on start backup, left click on turn off reminder. And there you go, disappears. Left click on pictures, move your mouse over start backup, click on the right mouse button, left click turn off reminder. Do the same for music and then also do the same for videos too. And that will get rid of that reminder and as you'll see there, there you go, it's gone. Now, if you do want to back up your files to OneDrive or even use OneDrive, then please make sure that you keep a copy of your files 
on your PC, as well as in the cloud. That's if you have the room. You may not know this, but OneDrive will move your files that you don't ac access regularly to be in the cloud only. The files that they move into the cloud, the icons will stay on the PC and what will not look any different to you. When you open the file, it will download the contents of the file automatically to your PC. You won't even know that the file is coming from the internet. This is predominantly to save space on your hard drive. But obviously, if your internet is down or you get locked out of OneDrive and can't get back in, then you won't be able to access your files that are only stored in the cloud. You'll only be able to access the files that are stored locally on the computer. So I always say, if you do use OneDrive, to keep a copy of your files in the cloud and a copy on your PC, you need to open OneDrive. So normally you'll see this little cloud icon down by your clock. If you can't see it down there, click on the arrow pointing upwards and see if it's hidden. If you still can't see it, then I would say next thing to do, is to click on the start button, click on the power logo and click on restart. Restart your PC and then see if it appears. If it still doesn't appear, then click on the start button and just type on your keyboard OneDrive. And then when you see OneDrive app, click on open and then see if that appears. Once you've got the cloud just in the bottom of the screen by your clock, click on the right mouse button and then move your mouse over settings, click on the left mouse button and then you want to click on sync and backup, that's a left click and then you want to scroll down to advanced settings and left click once on that. Then you want to scroll down until you get to this section here titled files on demand. Move your mouse over download all files and then left click once. It will tell you how much space will be needed to download all the files to your PC. And this will mean that you will still keep a copy of the files in the cloud, but more importantly, you will also keep a copy on your PC. So effectively, you'll have two copies of the file. You'll have a copy in the cloud and a copy on the PC. So that, like I say, if ever you lose internet access for a long period of time, or you lose access to OneDrive, then you're still keeping a copy on your PC too. So click on continue and then it will start downloading all the files to the PC and you, you should then see green ticks next, next to every folder in OneDrive. Once you see green ticks, it means everything has been downloaded and there's a copy both on the PC and a copy in the cloud. And I would say do this regularly. Just go back to this section here and click download file all files to make sure that you've got an up-to-date copy of all your files on your PC as well as in the cloud. If you're not wanting anything to do with OneDrive, then check to make sure you're not already backing up your files to it. So to do that, again, Right click on the cloud down by the clock, left click on settings and then left click sync and backup and click on manage backup. And if any of these are turned on, then you are actually backing up to the cloud. If you are and you want to know how to get your files out of the cloud, then I'm going to do another video shortly that shows you how to move your files back to your computer from the cloud. So keep an eye out for that. Don't continue to follow this this guide for the moment if you are backing up your files to the cloud, i.e. if any of these are switched on. So if they're switched off like mine are, then you're OK to continue. So just close that down and then close this down too by clicking on the cross. And then what we want to do is we want to right click on the OneDrive icon again, move your mouse over pause syncing and then left click quit OneDrive and then it gives us a warning here saying if you close OneDrive files in your OneDrive folder won't sync or back up to the cloud so you won't see your changes across devices. So move your mouse over quit OneDrive, left click once and then what we want to do is we want to just move our mouse anywhere over a blank area of the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and then click on the right mouse button. Then we want to left click task manager. Then we want to click on this little icon just here, which says startup apps, find OneDrive in there. And if the status shows that it's enabled, again, right click on that, move your mouse over disable and left click once. And then you should see to the right of OneDrive, the status should say 
disabled. Click on the cross in the top right hand corner of this box to get rid of it. Now we need to do a few other things as well because you'll probably notice that Microsoft will keep nagging you to use OneDrive and back up your files. So we want to turn off these nags. So click on the start button at the bottom of the screen, then move your mouse over settings, left click once. As you can see already here, there you go, there's a nag already. Back up your PC to your Microsoft account. Click on system just on the left. Click on notifications, then scroll down here. And what you're looking for is you're looking to turn off anything there that says OneDrive, anything that says Windows Backup. If there's something there that says suggestions as well, sometimes you get suggestions. You might get one or two copies of suggestions in this list. Turn these off too. But also we want to turn off um, these in additional settings. So click on the little arrow to the right of additional settings and turn off show the windows welcome experience after updates and when signed in to show what's new and suggested also turn off suggest ways to get the most out of windows and finish setting up this device also take the tick out of get tips and suggestions when using windows then we want to click on personalization and we want to scroll down to start left click on start and turn off show recommendations for tips shortcuts new apps and more and then we want to go into privacy and security just over there on the left click once on that and go into recommendations and offers and turn off recommendations and offers in settings. Also turn off show notifications in settings too. And then hopefully you, if we go back to a system or home, sorry, you will notice that that suggestion to back up has gone. And hopefully Microsoft shouldn't keep nagging you about moving your files or backing up your files to OneDrive.